Hi everyone, this is Ginger Pana. I wanted to do a quick video share. Um, it is very late on Wednesday night. I have to meet Linda tomorrow. And I wanted to do this quick video share. Um, I've been working crazy, crazy hours at work and I am exhausted. And so I'm surprised I even finished this swap um so let me go ahead and start sharing it with you because i need to get up really early tomorrow morning so we um maybe backtrack a little if you watch us on instagram um you'll know that we got together recently linda who is elf undo here on youtube and jenny who is crafty Hilo girl on youtube we got together. Jenny's from the Big Island. Linda and I are live on the same island on Oahu. And um, I think a few weeks ago we got together. Jenny was in town. And I got to meet her for the first time. I've been a really great um, fan of hers. And I've been watching her and Linda for a long time. And I'm so glad and blessed that I have them in my life. And we can enjoy crafting together. And so we had decided to do an embellishment swap embellishment box swap and so um i ordered these boxes from the dollar tree uh, maybe about a little bit over a month ago and i ordered a whole case of it i was so desperate to get them we don't have dollar tree in hawaii and so i ordered it um each box as you know is a dollar so i bought a case of 24 but the shipping was more than what the boxes were <laughs> shipping was like almost $40 I think but that's okay I shared all the boxes with Linda and Jenny and we decided to do a swap okay so here it goes I love this paper and I got this from the most recent I think it's kind of new I don't know if it's the same line I think it is but it's the Prima paper pad rose quartz my friend Mari who is um, on Instagram as meow equal crafts she called me and a local crafter was selling um, prima paper and so I rushed down and I bought myself a whole bunch of paper pads and loose paper so as you can see this paper pad was selling for ten dollars so I I use a lot of paper from this collection this might be a different line, a newer one. I'm not sure because I kind of cut up all the paper already. Okay, um, so here it goes. I left this kind of plain. I just couldn't bring myself to cover all this beautiful shabby paper with these butterflies, this gold foiling. Um, so I cut it out. I ink the edges I adhered it to the top of the box I put kind of a matching um, wash uh, washi tape here that's foiled so it goes all the way around the box and in the middle if you know these boxes there's a hump and so I didn't know what to do with it I wanted to leave it plain so the girls can maybe reuse the box and decorate it however they want to um, if I have more time to add things on it I will and they'll share it on their video here's an elastic roll it's just a ribbon roll that I found on one of my mainland trips this is a rosette I made it from the paper pad and this is a bottle cap and a I punched out a one inch circle from the paper pad and I epoxy stickered it into the bottle cap so it's still kind of drying I used E6000 to adhere it because it's metal I didn't flatten my bottle caps. I should have, but I forgot to. <laughs> so anyways, this is how the top of the boxes look like. And so they're both identical. As you can see, the other one is like this. Okay, so let's open it up. And I did a previous embellishment box swap on Tina, who's Tell Him Thank You. I already loaded it. I had to load it so that I could make this video and um, some of the things are similar but yet this one is a little bit bigger the box has more I think there's a little bit more compartments or roomier compartments so I was able to make more things 
Um, this is kind of nice when you open the box. It's a two-sided paper. So here is the inside. And here are the compartments. So I made more rosettes. I left these plain ladies so you guys can put things on it however you want to. I made a crepe paper rosette. And I forgot who I learned these this one from. But you sew it. You, you fold the crepe paper in half. You sew the edges. You pull it together. And it makes this nice um, rosette. And you some of the ladies glitter it on the edges. I didn't do that. These butterflies I also made. It's made from a square and a circle dot, uh, circle shape. And you pleat it and it rolls up into a butterfly. If I can find the tutorial I followed, it was a few years ago. I will post it down below. So I just glued some pearls in the middle. Okay, so this is in the first one. In this middle one, there is a local crafter. Her name is Emmy. Hi, Emmy. And she is by Mint Clover on Instagram. And so I go to her booth every month. And I love, love, love her creations. They're like felties. And she also makes clay pieces. So this is just a set. Kind of looks shabby. I kind of went with more of a shabby look. Um, spring shabby look. So this is... Um, clay pieces that they could use to embellish other projects. I also included a set of clips that Emmy made. And look at that panda, he's so cute. Okay, and a Nouveau Drop bottle fit right here in the cavity. And this is called Antique Rose, I think. Yep, Antique Rose. And so I'm going to gift a bottle to each Jenny and Linda okay in this left side I have I, I cut two spools out of a die that I had in my stash and um, let's see I don't have the envelope with me but it looks like this it's really cute the shape and I cut it out of the same paper line and I wrapped around this um, seam binding that I found at a local craft store and it is beautiful. It has like gold flecks in it. So this is what I got. And I also gave this in my other swap. Okay, and then in here there is a purple flower. And I'm thinking I got this on a... Um, oh, my brain is so tired, I can't remember anything. But I got this on a Facebook group. And she sells laces and from blings like this oh i just crafty me shop crafty me shop so it's a facebook group that you have to join and so she has sales um, every week and so i think this is one of the products that i bought from her so i put it as a kind of a filler and a cushion i didn't put any of that fillers in here so that it doesn't go all over the place and i, I think i filled it up good enough that i didn't need it in here is a bigger version of the butterfly and I added a applique which I got from Crafty Me Shop and a flower bling and this flower bling I gifted the girls more it's in purple and pink and I got it at a local craft, craft store. Okay and then I put a scooper spoon because I'm gifting them I think there's four yep. Yeah. Four seed bead packs and this is from I believe these are pretty pink poshes seed beads I just took them repackaged them to fit into the embellishment box okay so they're all good they're gonna get these four colors okay and then so I have a little scooper spoon. I bought this from Daiso, I think, last year. I bought a whole pack of them. And they're really good to scoop up the sequins and seed beads and things like that when you make shakers. In this one, I made a stacked letter embellishment. And so I used my envelope, mini envelope punch board. 
which looks like this. And I cut a lot of paper out from the paper line, the same paper line. And I put it together. I ink the edges. The first layer, there's three envelopes. The first one has um, pink cheesecloth. The second, between the first and second, there is some tulle. And then I wrap the whole thing with eyelash trim. And in the front, I use the same applique and bling that I did for the butterfly. Okay, and then um, this one, I also have a piece of cardboard in each one of the envelopes to make it stiffer. And so, Linda and Jenny, you can use this as embellishments, put your own glue or foam in the back to put it on whatever you want to. And underneath this, these two envelopes, I put a piece of ribbon, which I got off of a gift that I, a friend gave me. And so I just gathered it all up and I put it in the opening and it kind of helped with the um, keeping the envelopes from not falling into the square. Okay, so it kind of propped it up a little. In this one, I made some tassels. So using, I think the same paper line and another Prima line, I made, I cut paper, I cut all the strips. There's tutorials all on YouTube on how to make these paper tassels. I covered it with some gold washi I put some um, beads here and I made a little um, dangle out of it. Okay, so I have, they're going to get three small ones and two big ones. Okay, so these are the dangles that they'll get. And under here, I just put another crepe paper rosette. Okay, so they're all plain. You would have to um, use it and embellish it, embellish it however you want to. And so the tassels just go in here. Okay. And then up here, right here, is a bigger slot. So I put all kinds of blings and embellishments. So this one has the flowers that I've been using. This has some butterflies. This one has some resin hearts and scal uh, flowers. And so there's holes in them so you can use it as a dangle or part of an embellishment. It's really, really cute. I don't think you can see it too good in there, but it came in these packs, and I bought them at a local craft store. But see, they're all like swirly with pink and whites, and they're hearts, and there is a hole in the middle. So I thought this was so beautiful. So I bought um, a flower shaped and a heart shape, and so I divided up the bags. Okay, this is some resin roses that I got, some cabochons, and they came in a pack like this, assorted colors, so I broke them all up, and this one is mini tassels, look how cute these tassels are, so they're little like stunted tassels, and they came in a pack like this, okay, and then here are the butterflies that I bought, and here are more um, butterflies that I had made. I just didn't put them in here. They didn't fit. They were just a little bit too big. Okay. So these will also be in the box. Okay. Now this middle one, I have some bling pieces. So these are some dangles and they have little sequins in them they're really cute I bought them in a kit that D um, elegant embellishments was selling at one time I'm not sure if she has them in stock but she has an um, exhibit store and I also bought some of these from her 
these are some you can use it as flower centers um, but these are beautiful they're like pearl with some rhinestones in the center so I'm going to gift them those. So there's two of each kind in each one. And you know, Linda and Jenny have tons of lace and really beautiful bling. And they keep, keep, and Linda gave me a lot of her stash. So it was hard to find something to give you guys, hoping that you don't have it. So I didn't really put any lace or blings because I know you probably have them in some shape or form okay now in this last box here this compartment I cut up some bling stickers and they came on sheets that I got I think I got them at Hobby Lobby one year last year so it looks like this and so I cut them up so that they would fit into the boxes but these also make good centers flower centers and other embellishments okay and then these ribbons came in packs of all different colors and i just bought a whole bunch of them and i broke them up and i'm gifting different kinds of colors to the girls so i just added it in here like so okay so just to fill it up to make it look colorful and pretty so there you go that's my embellishment box um i hope linda and jenny you enjoy them i am leaving on a trip on friday so i'm trying to get all my work done i am just going for a short trip i'm taking my father to the mainland and it'll be a good relaxation for me too i think because i really need to get away um i've been just Things have been very hectic in my life. And, but as always, because I follow God, um, he brings me peace, so much peace, so much comfort. And I'm so grateful for all of that I have. So here are my embellishment boxes. I hope the ladies like them. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thank you so much for supporting me, always supporting me, all my new subbies. I appreciate all of you. Bye.